Designing a great road across course is just like making a great painting. You build it up layer by layer. Race School. Hello FPV Tree Racers, Captain Greg here. Today we're going to talk about our five favorite course design tips. This episode was brought to you by Massive RC. They have affordable products serving the do-it-yourself performance flying community. Hey, they've got great deals on 250 bundle kits, by the way. Show your support for our channel sponsors by taking a visit to their site. The link's in the description. Let's get started. We always start with our constraints. So tip number one, determine the slalom. Slaloms are the most difficult setups to find. You gotta find the right tree arrangement to make it all work. The race professor talked about lots of different types of slaloms over in our slalom fest video. If you get a chance, check it out. The slalom fest course started out with generously spaced trees which created high speed sweeping slaloms. These types of slaloms are a gas because it gives you the speed sensation but still requires piloting skills. Then we entered a duck under and went through a tightly spaced inline slalom where agility was key. Practice makes perfect on these. Treat them as a straight line and it's just a quick simple flick left and flick right. Then in the second part of the twisty section of slalom fest we went through a staggered slalom which is like a bunch of mini hairpin turns. The staggered slalom absolutely requires your eyes to be trained to look at the exit point of your turn, not the entry point of the turn if you hope for a fast time. Variety is the key. Use those trees to the best of your ability. And speaking of variety, that leads us to our second racer's tip, the thread the needle. The thread the needle has constraints on all four sides and we usually don't count the ground as one of those constraints. Thread the needles in their most basic form are a wishbone formation. The next level of difficulty would be flying through a tube of thread the needles, as shown here over at Ducky's Run. The next level of difficulty is a rapid ascent into a thread the needle and then a rapid descent as you're avoiding branches up and down along the way. Here's a killer idea for thread the needles. Place your thread the needle at the end of a fast straightaway. When you air brake, you'll have to pitch your nose up, which causes a loss of visibility. Really challenging stuff. Walking paths are a common occurrence in rotocourse designs. Racer tip number three, create course designs that are parallel to the walking paths, not perpendicular. Let me show you what I mean. At Noob's Knob, if we would fly clockwise around the course, we would fly perpendicular with an overshoot going straight into the path. Instead, we chose to go counterclockwise. So when we made our left-hand turn coming into the straightaway, we would not be forced into the line of the path if there was a mistake. And that leads us to racer tip number four, finish on a straightaway. In all of our rotocross videos, we talk about how to take your transmitter and turn it into a stopwatch. Our mind and hands are totally busy while we're racing. So when we cross the start finish line, we wanna minimize the amount of piloting we're doing so we can focus on reaching our finger up and triggering the transmitter to stop the stopwatch function and record our lap time. The easiest way to do that is put the start finish on a straightaway. And the final course design tip, create a visual racing line. It's one thing to joyride, but it's a completely different thing to run a racing line at the maximum speed you're capable of. When you're looking through your goggles, some of the sections are gonna look like a complete jungle. At FPV Tree Racers, we've discovered these yellow arrows that we found on eBay for about a buck each. We bought 100, 50 seems to be about the right amount for a typical course design. It will help you learn your racing line and avoid getting lost in that rotocross jungle. If you haven't already done so, check out our rotocross playlist where we walk through in detail all the examples we just talked about. Now. Go light it up. If you're serious about competing with your drone, check out GoDroneX.com. It will help you find a group or jumpstart a brand new group. There's excellent race articles and even a race school with a defined curriculum that'll get you flying faster, better, and cheaper. If you're from Chicago, check the link in the description for meetup.com slash FPV Tree Racing League. 
We have three different classes for all types of racers.